Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box and Merry Christmas. Today we are going to be talking about Disney dolls, some of my favourite Disney dolls, the holiday Disney dolls, the Christmas, winter themed Disney dolls. I have a whole bunch of them surrounding me right now and I've also found some which I don't own online because I want to talk about every single different holiday Disney doll. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like dolls as much as I do. Anyway, we're going to start off by talking about the Disney dolls, the holiday Disney dolls which I don't own, and then we're going to talk about the dolls which I do own. And when we talk about the dolls that I do own, I've kind of put them into like a very loose ranking, like my least favourite to my most favourite, but I have to say I didn't put much thought into this ranking, so, you know, my mind might change. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But first of all, let's talk about the Disney dolls which I don't own, but hopefully one day will. Here is what I believe to be the very first Disney holiday doll. This is Holiday Ariel, made by Taiko Toys in 1989, I believe, when The Little Mermaid came out. And wow, isn't she just an 80s fantasy come to life? She's got this massive, wintry white ball gown on with like fur line and flounders there with a little Santa hat on. I love that even under the sea they know who Santa is. And this doll also came with like a wintry themed mermaid's tail for Ariel as well which I just love. Okay next up on our list we have this Cinderella doll which I think is from 2009. This is obviously a winter Cinderella doll. This doll is made by Mattel and they've dressed her in a winter white version of her dress with a fluffy fur cape and it's got fur line trim at the bottom. I really like this doll. I really hope to one day own her. She even comes with a glass slipper ornament for the tree. Love that. Come through with the holiday cheer, Cinderella. Okay, next up, I actually own this doll, but I don't have her with me now, so I took a photo of her. This is a Holiday Belle doll from Disneyland Paris, which I got years ago. The hair quality is disgusting, but I do really like her little cape. Okay, next up we have Winter Frost Sleeping Beauty, and this was part of a Enchanted Seasons collection. Um, made by Mattel in the 90s, and I have to say, I love this series of dolls. I don't have this one, I really want to own her, I think she's beautifully designed. I love the fact that they've added like snowflake details everywhere, I think that's beautiful. And I love a good cape, she's got a beautiful cape. I actually have the Mulan in this doll line, which I think is like spring themed or summer themed, and there's also an autumn themed Belle doll. I this idea of like having different princesses for different seasons, love it. So great. Mattel should do this again. Next up we have Winter Belle from 1991, also made by Mattel. And again, I actually have this doll, but she's not here with me, so I just used a photo and I love her. She's not necessarily like Christmas themed, she's more winter themed, but you know, winter and Christmas, they go hand in hand. I love her cape. I love this doll, she's beautiful. I don't understand why they made Belle so tanned in all these dolls, especially if it's meant to be winter, but it is what it is. She's been on the sunbeds. Okay, next up we have these really rare, kind of unique um, Disney Store dolls. These are the Winter Wardrobe dolls. They each have the Disney princesses dressed in their kind of typical outfits, but then they also have like a fur-lined cape um, on as well. I actually have the Belle doll from this collection. I really want to get the others though, especially the Tiana doll, because you know, you don't often see holiday Tiana dolls. In fact, I don't think there's ever been a holiday Tiana doll. Disney also made another alternative version of the Winter Wardrobe dolls, which you can see here. And I have to say, I think I prefer these ones. They're really beautiful. Again, they come with like a whole host of different outfits. Again, I really like the Tiana one. I love how with the Belle one, she's wearing her pink dress from that wintry scene in the movie. I love that. And also, uh, Cinderella's one is really cool. She's got fur line trim at the bottom of her outfit. These dolls are just stunning. Okay, next up we have two more holiday dolls made by Mattel. One is Cinderella from 2012, and the other is Ariel from 2013. And these dolls are also stunning. I wish Mattel had continued to make holiday Disney dolls. They kind of seem to only do it like very randomly. 
The only thing I would say with these dolls is they don't look that Christmassy. They just look like kind of regular Disney princess dolls. There isn't anything specific about these outfits that screams Christmas, I guess apart from the glitter. One thing I especially hate about the Cinderella doll is she has plastic painted on gloves. You know, on such a nice doll, why would they ruin it with plastic gloves? If they can't afford to make material gloves, just don't give her gloves. Here we have some porcelain winter Disney Princess dolls. I find porcelain dolls kind of creepy, but these dolls are nicely designed, I will say that. I especially like the Aurora one, she's beautiful. And the Snow White one, wow. I wish these were just like normal plastic dolls though, instead of porcelain dolls. Next up we have two Hannah Montana holiday dolls. There is another Hannah Montana holiday doll, but I actually own her, so you're gonna see her later on in the video. Ugh. I love these. I love these. They're so campy and nostalgic to me. Okay, we have some more reasonably rare, like, obscure Disney dolls from, I think, the Disney store. I really like this style of doll. And here we have, obviously, holiday-inspired dolls with the fur trim on all their outfits, and they're wearing, like, slightly darker, richer, more wintry colours. I love these. They're beautiful. And Jasmine's here, and she doesn't get a lot of representation, so I love that. And we also have these two Christmas holiday uh, Frozen dolls. <laughs> I forgot what the name of the film was for a second there, what's wrong with me? These dolls were made for like a holiday short called Olaf's Frozen Adventure, um, which was a cute little short, and these are really nice, like, wintry outfits. Um, I actually own these dolls, but again, I don't have them here with me. Okay, next up we're gonna talk about the Disney holiday dolls, which I own, and I have here with me. I'm really excited to show you my collection. Now, like I said, I did put them into a bit of a ranking order, so the first one is gonna be my least favorite. Here we have a Tinkerbell doll from the Disney store, a very old Tinkerbell doll. She's dressed in like a kind of Santa Claus inspired version of her original outfit. Cute, a cute idea. I'm not sure if I love her face though. Her face looks a bit weird. Next up we have Cinderella and unfortunately this doll's head actually broke off right before I was making this video so I had to glue it back together and I got glue everywhere, which, you know, it was not fun, but it's fine. Um, this outfit is cute. I like it. This doll was made by Mattel in the 90s. I just don't love these massive silver bows. They just don't look that nice. Um, but I do like these sequins. I kind of wish there was more of them. I think it's just the bows. They look so tacky. Next up, we have this Mattel Holiday Disney uh, Tinkerbell doll. And she's very cute. She's got the skipper body mold. She's got like this little green kind of dark version of her dress. There's like holly on her all over the place. She's got these furry sleeves which are quite cute. I don't love her wings, although it's nice that they made them out of material and not plastic. And this doll, rather interestingly, has a little hook on her so you can hook her onto your Christmas tree, which is a really fun idea. I do quite like that. Next up, we have Ice Skating Belle from Belle's Enchanted Christmas, the direct-to-video movie. I really like this doll. I really like this outfit. It's really cute. The material used is really, like, floaty and movable. She's got super long brown hair, and she's got these cool ice skates on. Well, she did have ice skates on. Next up, we have Holiday Belle from Belle's Enchanted Christmas again. I really like this doll. When I was a kid, I wanted this doll so badly. And I finally got her on eBay when I was an adult. And I was a little bit disappointed. A little bit disappointed. The hair quality, like, isn't great. And it really annoys me that it has this beautiful, like, crushed velvet on the front. And then on the back, it doesn't have it. Like, what? Why? I wish it was crushed velvet, like, the whole way around. That would just make this doll perfect for me. But, you know, she's still really beautiful. I wish these bits on her sleeves were slightly longer as well, like they were in the film, but, you know, she's a cute doll. And it's funny, because she only wears this dress in the film for, like, two seconds. Next up, we have Ocean Holiday Ariel, um, also from the 90s, also from Mattel. This doll is really cool, and she's super rare. It took me a really long time to find her, but... I was a little bit disappointed. I find the kind of way they've made her tail with this, like, plasticky puffer jacket material 
kind of weird. I love the way it sparkles and shines. I love the tool covering the top half of her body. Although, apart from the, like, holly in her hair, I can't really see why this doll is Christmas themed. You know, there's, like, lots of red and green, I guess. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the reason why she's holiday themed. She's a very cute doll. She also has a weirdly long neck. Don't you think her neck looks, like, strangely long? Why are you a giraffe, Ariel? Next up, we have Holiday Belle at... Belle? This is not Belle. I am losing my mind today. Um, next up, we have Holiday Snow White. Gosh. And I do really like this one. I love the materials used. I love this collar. She's got, like, a cute little fluffy hand warmer thing. Uh, I just wish the cape was longer. This cape is so pathetic. <laughs> I kind of wish it was white as well. I don't like this, like, cheap, plasticky gold material. And I just wish it went down to the floor. Then I would, then I would love this doll. Next up, we have Holiday Jasmine. And this doll is just stunning, isn't it? Like, absolutely beautiful, beautiful doll. The colours, the greens and the golds. Very beautiful, very festive. Although I'm not sure, you know, Agrabah would celebrate Christmas. But, you know, it is a fictional place, I guess. Again, this doll has that annoying problem of the crushed velvet not being carried into the back, which really annoys me, but she's still a beautiful doll, and she has beautiful soft hair, which has been really nicely styled. Next up, we have one of the slightly more current Disney Store holiday dolls. This one is Rapunzel. I really like her. She's beautiful. She's just, like, not super overwhelming to me, but I do really like her. I love these long like, sleeves. She's really beautiful. I love this skirt with all the, like, extra added detailing. And, of course, she has incredible long blonde hair. Ta-da! Next up, we have this year's holiday Disney Store doll. She is, of course, Tinkerbell. I opened this doll in another recent video, which I will put a link for somewhere. Um, go and check that video out if you want to see me unbox her. But this doll is stunning. I really like her. I was pleasantly surprised. When I first saw images, I didn't think I was gonna like her, and I did! She's very festive. I love the holly. Okay, I'm quite surprised I put the next two up so high, but I did. This is Holiday Cinderella doll. She was an exclusive doll for KB Toys, I believe, which is a toy shop in America. I don't think we ever had it in the UK. She's made by Mattel, and I just really like her. I love the material used on the bottom half of her outfit. It's very floaty. It has nice movement. The gold detailing is really fun and very festive. Cinderella doesn't get to wear gold very often, so it's an interesting change for her, and I love it. She looks stunning. Next up is another KB Toys exclusive. This one is, of course, Belle. And again, just like, really nice movement to the dress. I like her hair, these cute little ringlets. She's in an original outfit, but I really like her in white and gold and red. These dolls are both just stunning. I really, really love them. Next up, we have Holiday Hannah Montana, and I just love this doll. She's so campy and fun. She has this ridiculous, like, long white coat. She's got sparkly silver high heels, sparkly eye makeup. I love her soft blonde wig. <laughs> and she came with a Christmas tree ornament as well which I don't know where that is, but how cool. And she sings. What more can you want from a holiday doll? Next up, we have the very first holiday Disney Store doll. This one is Ariel. And I just love this doll. She's an absolute classic, a modern classic. I love the colors used. This is an original dress, but it's really beautiful. I think one of my favorite parts of this doll is just these, like, cute little high-heeled boots she's wearing. And the last doll I had to talk about, my one of my favorite dolls of all time, is this beautiful Winter Moon Pocahontas. I just love this doll. I was given her for my eighth birthday, not this one, an old one. I, I had to buy her again because I don't know what happened to that one. But anyway, I got her for my eighth birthday and I was just absolutely overjoyed. I like, I feel like I've never seen anything more beautiful in my whole life. I love this outfit, beautifully designed. She's got incredible silky long black hair. 
She's just an absolute winter icon in my eyes. So there we have it, doll fans. I spoke about every single one of the Disney holiday dolls. Let me know if I missed any. I'm pretty sure I covered pretty much every single Disney holiday doll that's ever existed, but if I missed one, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, check out some more of my videos, check me out on Instagram and TikTok, and I will see you real soon, doll fans. Have a great Christmas. Bye!